Today is Thursday, November 29th, 2012. New day. Good morning. We're up to Psalm 43, and I'm going to start with a prayer. Dear Creator, please help me. Be present with your word to set aside distracting thoughts or feelings and simply be present here with you and your word. Amen. Psalm 43. O oh God, take up my cause. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. For you are God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in darkness, oppressed by my enemies? Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my harp, O oh God, my God. Why am I so discouraged? Why so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. What a beautiful little psalm. I really like this. I'm, I'm seeing in it my story. You know, the being in a place where I'm feeling hopeless, I'm feeling lost, I'm feeling confused, and... That first part, the, oh God, take up my cause, defend me against these ungodly people. It feels like where I am when I'm feeling tempted to believe that the Lord's not around and the world is hopeless and something sad or bad has happened or difficult. One of the kids has thrown a tantrum, even as simple as that, and I just don't know how to fix the problem, and I see that they're distressed, but I can't seem to meet their needs or fix the problem for them. And the lies that start coming in are, I'm a terrible mother, or you've totally messed up your children forever, or there is no solution to this problem. And this vacillates so quickly, and I, I relate to this, Rescue me from these unjust liars, for you are God, my only safe haven. So there's some hope. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in darkness, oppressed by my enemies? Right back to that. This is not fair, and it's an unsolvable problem, and why do I have to be going through this? And then to send out your light and your truth, let them guide me. And that's the key. That, for me, is the key. When I'm buying into, or struggling with, buying into all the lies that come up. That's what I have to start with, is the truth. The Lord is here, the Lord is present, the Lord is with me, every problem is solvable, no one is irredeemably lost. My children might be throwing a tantrum in this moment, but that child is eight years old. He's got his whole life ahead of him. There is no way that I have irrevocably messed him up because I haven't been intentionally trying to do so. In fact, I'm intentionally trying to be a good, loving, attentive, compassionate, empathetic, present, helpful mother. So if I just keep working at it, keep praying for the truth, for guidance, for a willingness to look into my own heart and get rid of the lies and the ungodliness and the need to control other people and allow the Lord to actually rescue me from myself and from the, the evil that I'm allowing into my heart to help me see it and let it go and ask the Lord to remove it. Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see that as your mountain, your holy mountain. If I climb up the mountain, then I'm above it all. I can see really far. I can see everything down there that is what we need to move away from, what I need to move away from and overcome up to the holy mountain, the place where you live. I'm, I'm coming to the Lord and coming to know the Lord and being where the Lord is. The Lord is always with me. But if I go to where the Lord is, 
then I really get to have the Lord in my life and in my heart. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my harp, O God, my God. And it almost feels like, you know, then it goes back to why am I discouraged? Why so sad? It's as if it's showing me that I can get to a really great place of feeling so good and completely enlightened and like I can stand above, oh, there's my negative thoughts and there are some frustrated feelings and, okay, there's some action I don't, I, I did, but, you know, now I can rise above all that and look down and see, okay, I can see where I need to go from here. I can feel that enlightened and that empowered and that good. And I will still go back to that time of feeling frustrated and sad and discouraged. It's cyclical. It comes and goes. But it, the very last three lines, I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. So right here it's illustrating my life in five verses. I start with, well, I think we're all born being very close to the angels and to the Lord as we mature. We come into our own stuff, which means we've got the hells coming in and bugging us as well. We get discouraged, we get sad. If we can just hang on and call on the Lord, He will always come. He will always give us His truth to guide us out of the bad places, out of the difficult, dark places. And I want to remember that the Lord is here and here and in the people around me. I can ask for help. And people will help me. I've experienced it so many times. And when I prayerfully go, Lord, help me. And then I think, okay, who can I call for help right now? The help that I receive is so clearly inspired by the Lord. The friend that goes, absolutely, I can come babysit at the last minute. Yes, I can come be with you and help you get your laundry done. Oh, I hear you. Go ahead. Just cry over the phone. Now do you feel better? Like all of those things that are always there when I, when I choose to reach out. The temptation, the, the biggest temptation I think I face is refusing to ask the Lord for help. Refusing to say, please send me your light and truth. And then taking action to access it. I, my tendency is to go, no, 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 I don't want anybody to see that I'm struggling and feeling frustrated right now. I'm just, I'm going to hide. I'm not going to ask for help. I'm not even going to talk to the Lord or pray. Or if I do, I'm praying. I'm talking to the Lord. Sort of like, all right, Lord, come fix it. Come on. Hello. But I'm not actually doing anything. <laughs> so... This psalm has a great little progression, illustration of my life in the positive, you know, in the, in the this is how to do it kind of way. So today I'm going to remember to pray for the Lord's light and truth and to then open myself up to receiving that from the Lord and to turn to my neighbors, my friends, my family, to people that if I'm going, okay, I'm really struggling with this, okay, who's the right Who's a good person to help me with that, that problem? Where's the solution for me? And then invite the Lord in. Thanks for joining me. I like that little psalm. Psalm 43. It's a nice one. Mama. So uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you got out of this psalm. Does that resonate with you? Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.